Hey guys, Smooth Comics here, back at another video. Today I want to talk about how to make a high powered character. This is a continuation from my last video, how to make a street level hero. High powered characters are Ooga Booga strong. They're ridiculously strong. These are the type you could move at faster than light speeds, you could chuck whole planets around. Like, you know, things like Superman does and the Incredible Hulk and Thor, they're meant to be ridiculously strong. Ridiculously strong. And the key to make one of these type characters is one word, balance. <laughs> There's a balance to the power. There's a balance to some type of offset to all those crazy abilities that they have. Now, this can vary from character to character. Superman, he's powered by the sun, he, and as long as he has enough sun, like, sun energy in him, he can do just about anything, but he has to have that sun energy. Things like Kryptonite uh, remove all that sun energy, and he's basically just a normal human now. See, there's a balance to that. High power characters are about the balance of power. There's some type of offset. There's got to be some type of offset to counteract everything. That's what makes them work. If you can come up with a good balance for a character, then you've objectively made a good high-powered character. Like, the Incredible Hulk. He can do anything so long as he has... He, he can do anything so long as he's angry enough he his power comes from his anger as long as he's mad enough he can do he's basically invincible but he has to be that mad other if you can get in the hulk's head and make him feel other emotions other than anger he weakens there's also the struggle of bruce banner trying to control the hulk and stuff like that It is a balance of power. It's all about the balance when it comes to high-powered characters. One of my characters I'm coming up with, not in not in this show, but one of my characters, um, Alpha Male Alien, he's a devil man who rules a planet of women. And his whole thing is that he can feed off of love. He is a love battery. And as long as he has enough love energy, he can do anything. He can fly... He can cast spells. He can do just about anything. But he needs that amount of love energy. And if he does anything wrong to anger his wives and stuff like that, then he won't get enough love energy. So it's a balance of power. It's about balancing up power. Another character, Thor. He needs his hammer. Not much without his hammer. And all that. It's all about the balance when it comes to a high-powered, booga-booga strong type character. Now, depending on the type of character you write, and their weakness needs to be legitimate. It can't be, like one thing I don't like in Invincible was the weakness of the Voltramites. It's too, it's too hard to exploit. It's a really hard to exploit. Certain sounds can mess, can throw off their equilibrium. Okay, but that's not really gonna kill them. See, to me, that's not a legit weakness. It has to be gen a legit weakness. Now, they say it has to be a legit weakness for that character. So it, when it comes to these type of characters, it's all, they're all about balance. 
how do you balance out that amount of power? How do you balance that? And a weakness could be anything. Do not make a character that's just incredibly powerful. Like, technically, you can get away with not giving a character weakness if other characters are also at that level. Like, in Dragon Ball, Goku doesn't really have a, a legit weakness. But he doesn't really need to have a weakness because there's plenty of characters who are also on that same level as Goku. Vegeta, Hit, Beerus is even more powerful. When you're char- another weakness is to just <coughs> make other characters who are as strong as him. And that alone can be a problem that they have to deal with. It's just people who are as strong as him. And that could be a legit problem that the hero has to face regularly. Is that there's niggas up there that are just as strong as him. Oh, one thing, one, actually Goku does have some legit weaknesses as using his higher forms can tire him out. The whole stamina thing is a common trope in fiction. I have this great power, but if I use it, I'll get tired out really fast and I'll be left exposed. It's a perfectly legit weakness to have. Or maybe not, maybe the character itself doesn't have a weakness. But the tools that they use have some type of drawback. Like Batman's infamous Hellbat suit. It feeds power from his... What does it feed power? His metabolism. So if he uses it too much, he's going to mess him up. That's an excellent drawback. Because drawbacks like that makes for great, great tension and story. Makes for great tension. You need tension in a story. And when you make your character Uka Booka strong, there, there's no tension. So you gotta have some type of tension. That's why Kryptonite was invented for Superman. There has to be some type of drawback, some type of thing that makes it interesting. It's not their powers that make them interesting. It's the balance between their powers and and the downsides to them. It's not the powers. That make the character. That's the superficial part. It's the balance of that power with the personality of the character, with the weaknesses, with everything. Everything matters when it comes to making a character. Everything. Like, subscribe. See you guys later.